All right. So we're talking to Lindsay Miller from Web Awesome about Web Awesome Pattern Library. So Lindsay, um, when you're building a website from scratch, that, that seems like a pretty big task, right? Like, uh, where do you even start with that? That's pretty much the question I think that most designers and developers have is there's really no obvious place to start when you're, you know, asked to build a feature or some kind of website from scratch. There's tons of different things that you have to worry about. There's, you know, making sure that you're using any branding guidelines that your your company has or your product has, making sure that the usability is good, that the accessibility is where it needs to be, that, um, you know, if, if you're working as a part of a large organization, that you have it documented in some way so that somebody on the other side of the building, so to speak, um, isn't trying to solve the same problem that you are in a different way um, and wasting their time doing that when you already have a solution. Um, so there's just there's just a ton of things that you have to consider when you're building something new. Um, and it's kind of where this pattern library comes into play is that you, you don't have to start from scratch. Uh, and that's that's what we're going for. It's a ton to keep track of. I mean, what are there examples of maybe when it doesn't go so well? Just in general, it can take a long time. Like it takes a long time right. to to build something from nothing, and it definitely can feel overwhelming. There's a lot of stress associated with that, making sure that you hit all the points. Um, mm -hmm. You know, have again all of that usability, accessibility, everything covered. Uh, it's just a lot. It's a lot, and you can definitely miss stuff too. Yeah, I imagine too in a larger organization where you maybe even have like sub brands and things like that, keeping track of everything and the patterns that you that you want to keep and things that are go that are, you know, in line with your brand guideline and everything would just be uh, kind of a nightmare if you didn't have a good system in place. That's absolutely true. And I've definitely seen that happen. Um, yeah. If you're using your your application or your website as your design system or as your single source of truth, it's really common, I feel like, to have an older pattern or an older style that, you know, is still existing live in that application, but that you don't actually want to follow anymore. And how do you find the newest, latest and greatest pattern that you want to use in your system? It's, it's you, you can't know unless you have it well documented, well understood that that single source of source of truth in place is really important. So folks probably knew that we were going to touch on this, but Web Awesome has a awesome solution to all of this. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. It's really exciting. Um, the whole point of our pattern library is to have um, code snippets that you can just copy and paste from our documentation and pretty much just drop right into your website. Uh, the idea is that we are paying attention to design trends, we're paying attention to accessibility, usability, best practices, all of that good stuff so that you don't have to, um, so that developers and designers don't have to, um, and just making it really easy that it, it's just plug and play. It's just, you know, standard space, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, if need be, and you just paste it into your site. And for the pattern library, um, that's just a lot of pre-built stuff that you don't have to build yourself. Or at least if you want to change it, you have a starting place and it's really easy to modify uh, if you want something different. But Lindsay, there's, I mean, there's a ton of different pattern libraries out there. What is it that's special about this one? I think um, a lot of pattern libraries out there allow you to get started really quick um, and they give you a great starting point. What really sets the Web Awesome one apart is the fact that you can use your own theme and it just works. Uh, so if you've created your own theme, if you have uh, created a theme with Web Awesome Pro uh, using our theme builder, which we talk about in a separate video, then you can just plug that in and all of our patterns are themed to match your exact style, your exact brand The you know, really embodies the character of what you're uh, trying to achieve with these. So what's really cool is that we actually have something that we can share with people. Um, you guys have been working on this for a long time, and this is the first time that we've been able to show this. So... How about, uh, how about giving us a demo? Absolutely. It is a work in progress still, but we're really excited about what we have so far. Awesome. Let's check it out. So we have uh, a bunch of patterns in the works right now. Um, we have some full page samples to show off today and we've got a lot more coming. So that's something we're really looking forward to is just continuing to grow uh, this library that we have. 
So what we're looking at here is uh, a sample e-commerce page, um, all of which are built with Web Awesome Pro patterns. So we have a product overview section at the top. We have this snazzy review section with um, a review summary with different, um, you know, using the Web Awesome uh, theme API, using Web Awesome components, all completely standards based. Um, some reviews. And then some extra product cards at the bottom. All of those e-commerce patterns will be at your disposal. There is also um, some blog patterns that we have added or, and are in the works too. Um, some uh, sample listing page here where we have um, a header for this, a very simple header on this nice college ruled background. We have a featured post, a list of other relevant posts that might be recommended, this call to action to subscribe to the blog, all sorts of different categories and links to posts within there, um, a frequently visited or a kind of popular post section, and then um, a topics browsing section. And of course, to go along with a blog listing page, you need a blog post. So we have a sample of that here. This is using um, an overflowing hero image header area to add some visual interest. And then we have obviously the post body. We have a, a footer um, that uses this reaction bar and then a comment section where you can um, see, you know, what it would look like if somebody replied to another comment. All of that is built in and the, those patterns are and will be available as well as uh, you may also like section, which is very common for blogs to send you elsewhere on your way. And then of course we have a dashboard because you can't really have a pattern library without dashboard because um, those are can be pretty challenging patterns to create. So we just have a few here, a lot more on the way, some statistics, um, a to-do list, a ticket table to track conversations or similar items, simple charts, and then uh, these little contact cards at the bottom. And kind of as, as we've discussed, all of this is completely themable. So if I have a different theme that I want to apply to any given page, I can just apply that theme and everything just works with all of those new styles. Um, similarly, if I wanted to go to say that, that blog listing, and I'll scroll back up to the top here, and apply a different theme there, completely different, then we have that at our disposal as well. So completely themable HTML, CSS, pretty straightforward and standards based. Uh, if we wanted to add something to any of these pages, um, I've isolated just a selection of patterns here. Um, again, we'll have a lot more, but uh, just to demonstrate kind of the capabilities here, everything is fully responsive. Um, everything is ready to go pretty much out of the box, but you can change it as you need to. So what I'm going to do is take this call to action bar and go ahead and add it to that blog post. So I'm thinking right between this comment section and these uh, recommended posts at the bottom of this page, we will go back to our patterns list and we will look at that code. Um, looks pretty simple. Again, just some CSS classes, some nice HTML. I'll copy that and then I will pop over to Visual Studio Code where I have all of my blog post code written out and I'll find that comment section to add this call to action right below it. So there's my comments. Let's scroll down a little bit more. All right, looks like this is probably where the end of my comment section is. And I have uh, the recommended section right below it. I'll just paste in that code and we will see it right there on the page. No problem at all. And that's just how easy we pretty much want to make our pattern library. You can just plug something in and it just works. That is so great. Thanks for taking us through that demo, Lindsay. And um, maybe we can just give sort of a recap of all the benefits of Web Awesome Pro. Yeah, with the Pro Pattern Library, the biggest thing is that it allows you to get started faster. It allows you to build faster, work better together, and ship ultimately faster so you can get things out the door really quickly. Um, everything is completely themable to match your brand. And if your brand changes later, you can just retheme it and your patterns will just work, which is really awesome. Um, and 
it's also constantly growing, which is something that we're really excited about. It's not just something where we will release a small set of patterns and then be done with it. We're really excited to keep up with trends, keep everybody's websites looking nice and fresh, adding new patterns all the time. So if this sounds good to everybody, uh, we would love for you to join us and help back our Kickstarter and we can all go make something awesome together. We're awesome, go make something awesome.